Good morning all of you. I'm K. Pavitra, Assistant Professor of English Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am discussing about one of the most important topic in English literature and I am sure that is a well lot of energy and a lot of understand to cover a wider area of English literature. And all of the students who are related with English literature and my topic is we to deal and guide you something about the South Asian literature. Let me tell about South Asian literature. The first donor name is Poetry. The first topic name is Gods Can Die, Edwin Thompo. Uh, he is a Sing Singaporean poet. The poem is reflected to the theme of changes in the attitude of human mind power. The poet observes the character of politicians and friends. They find no time to mingle with ordinary people and support leaders of the state for the public issues. They have to accept a certain respons responsibilities. His friends may misunderstand him for his changes in attitude, but he never cares for the friend circle. Finally, the conclusion of poem, the public life is totally different from private life. Uh, let's see the second poem, On Seeing a White Flock Across by a Road. It's written by Kamala Vijratni. Uh, she is a... Uh, Sri Lankan writer um, on seeing a white flock across by a road about the effect of death of young soldier on his mother and daughter. His body was covered in a white national flag and kept inside a sealed box. No one identified him, no one explained the way how the soldier meet his death. The mother and sister, the soldier, uh, shocked to see the dead, dead body but another side the peoples enjoy the cricket that is the main and major concept of poem so no one cannot identify the soldier death so that is the real essence of poem and next poem the kittens is written by maki kurseshi is a pakistani poet it is written in a simple verse style the poet talks about her cat the cat delivering too many Poet friends cannot adopt them all, so her relatives suggest to her that she may leave the cat in the market. The writer realizes that is not a safety place, so it's very dangerous place, I think. So that is the explain the main concept. The writer leaves the conclusion because her mind is ruled by confusion. The next poem name is The Monstrous Puppet is written by Rashya Khan. He is a Bengali Deshi writer. The poet says that all animals including dog are defenseless creatures and they must be protected. We should treat animal with kindness. That is main concept of poem. Um, the poet is a lover of animal. Both men and animal have a same life. The animal do not understand the nature of man. Man is highly selfishness and so is a very dangerous. Um, finally, uh, finally, the poet says, there is nothing equal to love and kindness. Gods can create the human beings to enjoy the beauty of nature, enjoy a life of peace with their company of nature. The next poem name is Words for Father. It's written by Muhammad Hajisal. It's a Malaysian poet. Uh, the, this poem, Words for Father, express the feeling of son. He remembers the sacrifice of his father. His father becomes old now. The son is very much attached to to his father and see he see he requested him to take rest without minding anything about his life so writer want to tell about the what is the struggle of father life that is also explained to the this uh, this poetic lines uh, the son wants to follow his father that is the main and major concept of this poem uh, always father is a role model of every every children's uh, he prays to God to grant his father does not enjoy and luxury in his life. It is a realistic life poem and thank you, thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity.